Let's also try and get a quick check going once again as far as uh, Wipro is concerned. Mayuresh Shoshi, fund manager at Angel Broking, joining in. Mayuresh, your first cut when we talk about uh, Wipro numbers. Morning, Priyanka. I think uh, clearly very much in line, and though I think they missed their Q3 guidance in terms of how the dollar revenue panned out, they've actually upped their guidance in terms of how the dollar revenue is expected to grow in the quarter to come. So clearly, I think you're still seeing stickiness happening for the core business as far as Wipro is concerned. And again, I think that stickiness and companies might continue for the next few quarters. Clearly, I think the management changes that are taking place uh, within the top management level at Wipro itself are an indication of the fact uh, that I think uh, significant changes need, are needed to be done probably in the business model. Otherwise, I think largely the management commentary is, is, is not uh, that bullish as far as uh, the, the uh, expectations are concerned. So I think you're going through a very tough environment, uh, specifically with, with the energy vertical, with telecom vertical, with how IT services are expected to pan out. So clearly, I think management commentary will be key to be uh, watched out for, and B, I think valuations... Uh, are extremely supportive for Wipro at this point of time. Right. In terms of outlook as well, uh, uh, Mayuresh, uh, let's get a sense in terms of what you're waiting to hear from the management uh, going forward. Well, clearly, I think they have done a couple of acquisitions, and they had done uh, uh, an acquisition as well in the quarter before this. So I think the Alco acquisition for $195 million, specifically IT services business, uh, uh, then that probably basically was a Canadian uh, logistic and utility firms. So I think what they're probably expecting from these acquisitions uh, need to be done, what, what probably in terms of how their core business is expected to pan out. I think the third important angle would also be how utilization levels are expected to pan out in terms of how the wind are expected to look over the next few quarters. And lastly, probably, I think uh, you, you've actually seen uh, a decent performance uh, in terms of what their outlook had been. Uh, so clearly, I think, uh, again, their dollar revenue guidance growth and, again, uh, the rupee revenue guidance growth in terms of how the constant currency will perform uh, for the better part of next year. All right, Mayuresh, fair enough. Thanks for that quick take as far as Wipro is concerned and what we're watching out for in terms of trade today as well uh, as far as that stock's concerned. Let's take a quick break. Up next, Rohit Srivastava of Khan will be joining in to share his strategies as well. And we've already been in conversation with uh, Mr. Kesu Rumanim as well. We'll continue that and get you some trading ideas. That's coming up in a minute. Stay tuned.